Hi Taurus, how's it going? I hope you're having a great week. This is going to be a timeless love reading, but we are going to pull energy for the new, um, the full moon that's happening in Virgo on the 24th of February. So do take what resonates. Make sure you also watch your moon sign reading around this full moon energy. Um, and if you have the time, your Venus and your rising, there is going to be similar messages. There's going to be um, other other messages that you feel drawn to receive. So at the time that you feel like you're resonating with the title, the picture in your life, then you know it's meant for you. All right, for those of you that are new, I am so grateful that you're here. My name is Sam, so welcome. By subscribing, um, you can take part in the monthly giveaways that I, I that I offer. This month is two free love readings. All you need to do, like I said, is subscribe and leave a flower emoji in the comment section, letting me know that you're interested in the giveaway. At the end of this month, I will randomly choose those two people to receive the readings, and then I will reach out to you through YouTube. Um, I'll remind everybody to be paying attention to their notifications, um, not this upcoming weekend, but the following weekend, because two people will be hearing from me. All right, and then I'll announce March's giveaway. It's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. A lot of healing with that amethyst energy. Letting go and purging anything that seems heavy on you. If people bring negativity and drama into your life, releasing all negativity. And that's even negative thoughts that you may have from time to time. Don't let the past hold you back. And you see how the darkness is starting to creep in on the, the tranquility. Let it go. Release it. Purge it. With this full moon, purge what's no longer causing you happiness or forward movement. Don't let anything hold you back. All right. If there's someone from the past that you're healing from currently... With this full moon, think about the future and manifest what you want for the future. Forbidden love. Interference, possibly of a third party. You know, forbidden love could be anything. This could be, you know, someone whose parents or, you know, family culture only wants them to, like, meet someone within their culture, marry within their culture. This could be third party. This could be a love triangle. God's protecting you. So, Taurus, where you might feel rejected or disappointed in something specific, someone specific, God was protecting you. God was redirecting you away from it. In that moment, it was not meant for you. It, they couldn't be all in. They weren't going to be able to offer you 100%. And that's what you deserve. And spirit was protecting you. Alright, let's see what that is. Water. Purging and releasing. Cleansing. Possibly could be dealing with a water sign. Because we do have Scorpio here twice. But uh, we also have Pisces. Cancer. Alright, let's see. Bring you more additional clarity on what is going on here for my Tauruses. All right. And this one wants to pop out, so we're going to take it. Oh. All right, we'll take them all. We have the Grim Reaper. So there was an ending here. Relationship is over. No second chances. Spirit is saying it's time to release and take back control of your life. There is something coming in that you are not expecting. I also feel like with the lightning here, it's almost like so much growth within you, an epiphany within you. But there is something coming in very unexpected. You're evolving. I love this. You are growing. You're moving into the next phase and chapter of your love life, Taurus. Healing your inner child and growing. And look at this unexpected love call. There is someone 
reaching out to you. And as I was shuffling this deck, I was drawn to meeting date. There's someone calling you, wanting to meet up with you and spend time with you. Better memories ahead with the camera. Happiness coming in. There, this person coming towards you that's going to reach out, wants to spend time with you, enjoys spending time with you, enjoys making memories with you. You've learned a lot from the past, Taurus, and I feel like you're really, you're in a really good energy and ready to have your heart open for this tranquility and peace. All right, let's see what's coming towards you. tell you by you moving on you're bringing in a confession by you evolving you're bringing in this confession and look at how it's the same color as that tranquil color the, the confession the truth that's going to be spoken from someone brings a lot of peace and harmony into your life yeah you're closing out a chapter and it looks like it's been a hard chapter. Look at this person. They've really been through a tough cycle. And it makes them feel like that wounded warrior. Like beat up and just broken. Because of their experiences. But there is that butterfly. Evolving. And bringing in. Something deeper in terms of love. Yeah, you're letting go of the disharmony. And it's possible there's things from the past that still trigger you. And Taurus, you're healing from that. You're moving on. You're becoming stronger. Someone's coming in very hot and fiery for you. It is possible. I'm going to put it out there. It is possible that where you may have been rejected or disappointed, in that distance, yes, this person felt guarded, especially with forbidden love, what that conflict was, like I spoke of, could have been cultural differences, it could have been, you know, many things. Um, it could have started within the workplace in that, like, professional, you know, personal line they didn't want to cross. You may have had someone else. They may have had someone else and you started flirting and something transpired. Whatever this forbidden love is, there's the energy of feeling guarded. Your energy, possibly, Taurus, cross watchers, yours, but you're so hot for one another. There's so much passion that exists between the two of you. And I do feel this connection transcending. But, Taurus, continue what you're doing. Continue evolving, continuing moving on. Allow this new chapter to happen within yourself. This person's coming towards you regardless. So focus on yourself because the attraction that you have for yourself, the self love, you know, you feel so much more grounded and ready to take on was coming in like a tower moment. I mean, it's a good tower moment. They have things that they want to release and get off their chest and tell you how they feel. And with passion, lust, and attraction here, it could be a huge weekend of romp and roll. You may not be leaving each other's, you know, one of your homes or just staying in the bedroom the entire time. Best part of breaking up is making up. Yeah, being stuck at a crossroads. The distance between you and this person is killing them. It's like they're distraught. It's It feels like the rain just keeps pouring down on them. Yeah. They haven't been able to move on from you. 
but there were things of their past that brought triggered that triggered them that brought in that disharmony see that's why you had to let it go that's why spirit directed you towards something else because it was affecting your energy I also feel a, a chapter closing in this person's life that's coming towards you. Yeah, you're a huge temptation for them. And look at how two different decks. Look at this. How synchronistic is that? Get ready to receive. This is divinely orchestrated. The time apart has been so, so uh, transforming for you both. Both of you looking deep into each other, like into yourselves independently, thinking like, what needs to heal? What do I need to move on from? What do I need to purge and let go of? You know, let me heal my heart. So that I can allow my heart to be open to receive. And it is time for you to receive. Both of you are missing one another. This distance between both of you is like, it, it, it's, you both feel it. There could be some travel involved. But I also feel like this lightning, you're going to look down at your phone and be, and just be shocked. And I feel it's going to be a phone call. It's not going to be a text message. They've evolved so much. It's like, you know what? Let me reach out to Taurus. I'm not going to just send a text. I'm going to actually reach out. Yeah, they're too in their head about you. They're stuck. They have not been able to move on. They cannot stop thinking about you. They see you so grounded, so independent, so humble, so on point with your life and I you, this temptation that existed between the two of you them not being able to move forward was a huge burden on them, them because they couldn't give you what you deserved and that became a huge burden that's why they created this distance but there is like I said there's a shifting in the universe a decision being made to bring the two of you to cut together in union. All right, spirit. Why the two of swords and the two the two of wands? Okay, thank you. Like I said, they're thinking about you so much that they're daydreaming about, daydreaming about you. They're thinking about you at night before they close their eyes. They're going through everything that lies between the two of you and making big decisions. Because, in all honesty, they miss you. They feel alone. Just as much as you do, Taurus, they're missing you as much. But like I said... You were redirected away from this person for a reason. Whatever this forbidden love is, you were being protected. So continue moving forward. Don't let this hold you back. They will resurface. They have not gotten over you. They have not, you know, they never stopped reminiscing or dreaming about you. But Spirit's saying they have to come back to you in a different energy. It, their energy was draining you. The current status of what the two, how the two of you met, what was not aligning, was weighing you both down. I feel definitely a lot of truth that needs to be revealed here. But they are coming towards you wanting to fight for this connection. So it's going to be a big shift in energy that you're not expecting. All right, let's see. Yeah, see, they've got to be completely honest with you. Their words were on point. They had a lot of feeling for you. They had a lot of passion. But they may not have been completely open about their current situation. And they're coming in for the balance. 
when they reach out to you, you can trust what they're saying. They're coming in to make things fair, to balance things out. They're hoping that you understand what this situation was for them. They want to take all those wrongs that existed and make them right. Like I said, peace, harmony, and tranquility between both of you. All right. You are receiving a love call. We have A, S, K, ask. I told you, they're going to ask you out. E, I, P, X, O, hugs and kisses, and then B. They know they, and I, I was drawn to BS. They know that, that a lot of BS existed between the two of you and they want to balance it out. See where it goes. All right, Taurus, so much love and light. Leave that flower emoji down below. Um, anytime you want me to bring you additional clarity within your own situation, tune into just your energy. Visit my Etsy shop, links in the description box like I had stated, Lotus444. I am also on TikTok at Lotus Sutra 444 and I do daily messages over there. So much love and light, guys.